I'm here in beautiful Lake Louise, Alberta for the annual Ice Magic Festival. This is the 25th anniversary. It's been happening since 1994, where ice carvers from all over the world come to compete to see who can carve the most beautiful piece of art out of ice. There's people here from Latvia, from Thailand, from Malaysia, the USA, from Mexico, from all over the world, and they're all here to compete for three days during the Ice Magic Festival. You come up with an idea, because you have to have the artistic idea, but uh, we only have so much ice to work with. And with that ice, you have to make your design work. So often the amount of ice, we break it down into smaller blocks, move it around, glue it together, and then carve out what we need. So it's a very, very challenging, uh, very challenging medium. What's your project this year? Uh, this year is, uh, is called Time Waits for No One. And uh, with the clock, falling over, being supported by this. It's just a, just a what are we have symbolizing the passage of time. The ice sculptures are here to see for many, many weeks, but the actual part where the people are carving them is about three days long. We're here on the Friday right now, which is pretty cool because not only do you get to see the finished pieces of art, but at 4.30 to 5.30, they do a special, like a one hour ice sculpture thing where they only have one block of ice in one hour to see who can carve the most beautiful structure in only 60 minutes. So Matthew was here for the Ice Magic Festival. He was actually here at the competition. So he watched all the contestants doing their art pieces. And now we're back to, uh, to see more of the final piece and during the daytime. And this was the second place. So even though the sculptures are left here at the front of the Fermont Chateau Lake Louise, uh, you need to hurry up to come and see them because eventually they start melting down and losing some parts like this one. It's missing the head. So we're here in front of the winning piece. It's truly very magical with the mountains in the back and it's called the Ice Queen Treasure. So it really looks like a winter queen with all the icicles on the top and it's pretty impressive. So there were people from all over the world and this was made from people from Latvia. So what do you think? Is it your favorite as well? Because it is mine. <laughs> 